If I were to be deserted in the desert or on an island, I would bring mascara with me. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So as you can tell from the title of the video, I will be testing the new Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. If you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm obsessed with mascara. I went for a little creative look today. Most of it's Huda Beauty. I will post the tutorial on my Instagram because I kind of miss doing my little mini tutorials on my Instagram. I've done it in a while. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure to post the, this as I post this video on YouTube so that you guys can check it out. So make sure to follow me on Instagram guys. I love my lashes. My lashes is like my favourite feature of my face and always has been. I was that girl in school that had the clumpy spider legs lashes. Let me just put it out there. It wasn't pretty. Obviously today I've learned how to properly use mascara. What I really wanted to do was to try the Huda Beauty mascara in one eye and use a combination of my mascara that I like to use on a daily and I really do get the full length and full volume that I like so it's easy for me to sit here and just put the mascara and it probably will work really well because of the length of my lashes but but my friend actually gave me the idea to compare it to my actual favorite ones that I use every day and see if it's comparable or if it's even better I think that's better than just trying the mascara on its own so this way we can actually compare and I'll be able to see if this mascara actually works the way I like it. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Catherine Todd. Thank you so much for the love and for your comment. I really appreciate it. I will now make sure to screenshot your comments and include you guys in the video on the screen. Because I want to put you guys in the video as much as I can. And I feel like these notification shout outs is the best way to do it. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Catherine. If you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe. Press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment but this time I'm really gonna try and give it to people who actually press the notification bell and I can see that you guys have been because the percentage has been going up and that really makes my day and it just warms my heart that you guys look forward to the videos but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and we'll jump into the video so the legit lashes mascara actually took four years to make it's a double-ended mascara with two full-size formulas and custom molded brushes to deliver extreme length volume and a curl so on one end of the mascara you have the legit length and curl it grips onto each lash delivering extreme length and curl loaded with painted five millimeter lengthening fibers that work to mimic natural lashes so your lashes will never look spidery or stiff and then on the other side you have the legit volume You've got a soft touch formula with low gravity so hopefully it's not going to pull my lashes down yeah that's the little description on it okay as i always do i'm going to curl my lashes i always do this whenever i put mascara i recommend it to everyone if you want good like a nice curl instead of your lashes going straight you want that to be lifted it's just going to make so much of a difference i like to use the hourglass um, lash curl it's very sturdy Can you see the difference that's made? I don't know if there's a specific way to use this mascara, okay? But with me, I like to always use two mascaras. I don't do it all the time, but when I want extra lashes, I do use two mas mascaras. So the idea of her having two different brushes and two formulas, I was instantly like, wow, I need to try this mascara because I already do that. And I feel like a lot of people do that. When I used to work on Bobbi Brown, a lot of customers already had two mascaras. Um, and it's actually more common than you think. I like to go with a voluminous mascara that really applies a lot of product to my lashes and makes it look really like full and then I go in with my other mascara which is got a more curl um, brush and it really just combs through each lash and gives a bit of length so I'm gonna go with the volume side first that's just what I naturally do anyways here goes So when I apply mascara, I always give it a little wiggle and and I always concentrate it at the root first and then I kind of flick it upwards. I can really feel that the brush is going into like my lashes and gripping. I hate it when mascaras just feel like it's just gliding away and not attaching to anything. So I like the friction because I know like it's combing through the lashes, coating them properly. 
I feel like that on its own gave quite good length. So far, so good. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the curl and length side. Let me just give you a quick close up of the volume side. I'm actually quite happy with the brush. And this is the curl side, so the brush has a little curl to it. And yeah, we're just gonna try this one now. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it more. I don't want it to go clumpy. Not like it is going clumpy, but I know if I keep going, I will get to that point. I'm so tempted to, but I'm stopping myself. I'm stopping myself. But yeah, that gave good volume, good length. I like it. I like it. Now I need to do, you guys know I always put mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm putting the volume side first. Ooh, they actually have, she has a bit of bristles on the end here. A lot of mascaras on the tip is just flat and product builds up there. But you actually have bristles on this one, which is perfect to get right in the corners. So the reason why I personally like to go with a voluminous packing mascara and then go with like a curl combed mascara is because the voluminous mascara first gives a lot of product and volume and then the the curl brush really brushes through that product pulls it out separates it and then i feel like it's the best way to get the look of false lashes for myself like a fluffier look with mascara okay so now i'm just going to use the length side as well just to comb through that And I like the way how black the mascara is. I have to note that. So with the mascaras that I get, I always try to go with an extra black if I can find it. I'm really happy with that, guys. Quick close up. That looks really nice, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my usual routine on this side and we'll see if there's a difference. Okay, for me personally, the two mascaras that I have been going for a lot lately is first the Stila Magnum Mascara and then I like to go in with some of my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Now, this is amazing on its own, but I sometimes feel like I could do with a bit more volume when I wear this, so this combo is just perfect and I wear it all the time. The only thing is the Sigma one sometimes transfers here. That's the worst thing I hate. When I come back home, and I look into the mirror and there's black dots all under my eyes. I hate that so much. So we're gonna be testing this out today. I'm gonna to wear this for most of the day and we'll check back later on how it looks. This one does do it slightly. It's annoying, but I love the finish it gives my lashes. So we're gonna put some of the Stila one first. So I'm not gonna abuse it. I didn't put too much of the Huda Beauty ones. I'm gonna stop there. I did one full coat of this one. I'm gonna do on my lower lashes too. So this one doesn't have the little bristles on the tip. It just has a spike and a lot of product clumps up in there. It's annoying because sometimes it just accidentally gets on my lashes and I have this big lump on it. So that's a downside to this brush, but I really like the Huda Beauty one because of that reason. Um, they're both different brushes, but I feel like they both seem to give good volume. Now we're going to go in with our um, Lash Sensational. I mean, they look quite similar to me. The Stila Magnum Mascara does have a little bit more of a volume effect than compared to the Huda Beauty volume side, but I usually always go with my Maybelline one on top of it because Maybelline does not transfer at all. It's the most long wearing lengthening mascara I use and it's my favorite mascara, like it's my go-to. But with the Stila one, it just gives that extra volume. And with the Maybelline on top, I get less transfer underneath. We're gonna test the Huda Beauty one out obviously, but so far there's no clumping. And I think to have both formula and both brushes in one product is so convenient. I'm getting the same effect too, like my favorite combo and really happy with it. Is it a mascara that I see myself using? Definitely. So far, I don't have any negative points to point out, 
but it's dried down no heaviness it's very lightweight it's not pulling my lashes down yeah so far i really like it i do see myself using it the thing that could ruin this right now is if i come back later and I have a bunch of mascara on my under right so so far i'm quite pleased with the mascara it's now 8 43 a.m i actually woke up earlier to film this before work because the dedication is real was i've been dying to try out this mascara i also tried out this chin lift oh my god i just feel tight this is really good it feels amazing it smells really good so yeah i'm gonna head off for the day and we'll see how this looks later on hey guys ignore the broken fence in the background but i thought i'll come in daylight to give you guys just a final update um and to close off the video it's currently 5 10 right now and to be honest i'm very pleased both mascaras like both eyes did really well there's no transfer at all and my makeup held pretty well i was in the sun all day i look at my tan line i was like laying in the sun working on my laptop so my goal is to get a good tan guys but yeah so far i'm really happy and both looks really good so honestly this huda beauty mascara is a good 10 out of 10 for me it gives the same effect um as my normal combination that i wear all the time but it's in one product um and i think the pricing of the mascara is actually quite reasonable i'm just going on the cult beauty website to check but i think it was around 20 pounds so yeah it's 24 pounds um it's very similar to bobby brown mascara prices and honestly i just think it's way better than actual bobby brown mascaras because i've tried so many of theirs and um, this one is like the it gives the effect that i love and now, as you can see it looks bomb and my eyeshadow is really nice too i love this makeup but i'm so happy that i tested this out for you guys i really hope you found this review helpful i definitely recommend this mascara it's bomb you can tell like, i love it i love it and i love that i compared it to my normal combination i don't know how many times i'm gonna say that i'm gonna head off and if there's any other reviews that you want me to do like products that you want me to try out let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already give this video a like and i will see you in my next video bye